Assalamu alaikum, I am Moinuddin Ahmed and this is my HAM 1-1 presentation about rise of Rome. Rome's rise from a small city-state to a center of the most powerful empire in the world is a remarkable story that spans over a thousand years. Between the 5th century BCE and the 1st century CE, Rome transformed itself into an empire that extended across three continents, from Britain in the north to Egypt in the south and from Spain in the west to Iraq in the east. This period of growth and expansion was influenced by various factors, including military conquest, political institution, foreign policies and cultural interactions. An important factor that contributed to Rome's growth was Greek presence in Italian territory. From 800 BCE to 550 BCE, Greek colonized the northeast portion of Italy, bringing with them their culture and knowledge. This contract with Greek civilization had profound impact on the development of Roman society. The Etruscans also played a great role shaping the early Rome as they dominated the central Italy before the rise of Rome. And the interaction between the cultures was also essential to Rome's growth and development. Rome adopted many aspects of Greek culture including language, philosophy and art as Rome expanded and encountered other cultures such as those of North America and Middle East. Rome's policy to tolerance allowed it to incorporate these cultures into the empire, which contributed to its strength and diversity. The disintegration of Alexander's empire also played a crucial role in Rome's rise to power. In 307 BCE, after Alexander's death, his empire was divided into successory states. This led to ongoing conflicts between the various factions, ultimately weakening the Greek power in the region. Rome took advantage of this situation first through the Macedonian Wars in 215 BCE and then by conquering the Greek peninsula in 148 BCE. By 133 BCE, Rome had launched an incursion into the Hellenistic states which further expanded its control. In 31 BCE, Rome defeated Cleopatra, solidifying its position as dominant power and Mediterranean. According to the legend, Rome was established in the Latium region circa in 800 BCE by Latins, a tribe of people who spoke Latin. The legend surrounding the establishment of Rome tells the story of twin brothers Romulus and Remus who were abandoned by the banks of river Tiber as infants. They were found and nursed by a she-wolf and later a shepherd who took them in their home and raised them as their own children. Romulus and Remus decided to build a town where the shepherd had found them, but they had a disagreement about who should be in charge, which resulted Romulus killing Remus. After that, Romulus became the first king of Rome, which he named after himself. In 509 BCE, Rome established a republic in which elected officials ran government. This system lasted about almost 500 years and allowed Rome to successfully defend against the various invaders including Gaulas, Etruscan and Greeks. To organize their troops, Rome established legions which were made up of groups of soldiers called maniples. By 265 BCE, Rome controlled all of the Italy. Obelix and Asterix, the famous comic book characters, are set in Gaulus around 50 BCE, where the Roman conquered the region and incorporated into their empire. This comic book offers light-hearted perspective about Roman Empire and its conquests. Rome's political institutions were both resilient and adaptable, allowing it to incorporate diverse populations. The office of king was replaced with two consuls to prevent any one man from becoming too powerful. Roman society was initially divided into two classes, the wealthy patricians and the common plebeians, with the patricians holding political office. However, 
plebeians gained a more influence over time and new political officials were created from them. Voting assemblies and councils were established that gave plebeians more to say in the politics of Rome. The Comitia Centuria reflected the Roman military structure with soldiers divided into classes based on their wealth. Only the wealthy could afford high quality weapons and armor which made them more effective soldiers. The wealthy had most to lose from Roman defeat and so the Romans saw no problem with allowing them to have greater political influence. The Roman army was a key factor of Rome's success. Its soldiers were highly trained and disciplined and organized. The Comitia Centuria reflected Roman military structure with soldiers divided into classes based on their wealth. Only the wealthy could afford high quality weapons and armors which made them more effective soldiers. The wealthy had most to lose from Roman defeat so Romans saw no problem with allowing them to have greater political influence. The Roman army used innovative tactics including the famous turtle formation in which soldiers locked their shields together to form an impenetrable barrier. Rome expanded as it came into conflict with surrounding city-states, kingdoms and empires and had to create ways to incorporate new territories and populations. The Roman policy of offering conquered enemies some level of Roman citizenship, sometimes with full voting rights, helped to build a sense of shared identity around loyalty of Rome. This policy also helped to integrate diverse populations into Roman Empire. Formal provinces were created to manage the new territories, with former political office holes appointed as governors. Rome's legacy is profound and enduring. Its achievements in architecture, engineering, law, literature, and art continue to influence the world today. The Roman Republic provided a model of modern democracies, while the Roman Empire established a concept of unified state across multiple regions and ethnicities. The Latin language, which evolved into numerous Roman languages, remains an important cornerstone for Western civilization. Rome's influence can be seen in the political institutions and legal systems of many countries around the world. Rome's rise of power is a fascinating story that spans over a thousand years. From humble beginnings, Rome transformed into dominant power in the Mediterranean world and eventually the most powerful empire in the world. Its military powers, political institutions, foreign politics, and cultural interactions all played a role in its growth and expansion. Despite its eventual decline and fall, Rome's legacy remains strong and continues to shape the world today. Thank you very much.